Audio Log, January 17th, 2018. After months of searching, I finally discovered the location of Octopia's base. As soon as I saw pictures of this base, I began my quest to find it, and found it, I have. Now, what started at the tail end of the Russia War ends today. The Fit Octopia Saga ends today. For one day only, Team Veteran is coming out of retirement to destroy Octopia's Nazi place of doom, Viper Base. I've played the server for half a decade. I've seen groups rise and fall like the waves of the ocean. At the end of the day, there has to be balance. For every builder, there's got to be a destroyer. And today, it's pretty obvious which one I'm going to be. This is going to be the most serious video I've ever made. I can guarantee you there will be no memes at all. Today's game was brought to you by the following sponsors. Future Client. You can learn more at futureclient.net. The way of the future. And by 2B2T Priority Q. Pay $20 and join the greatest anarchy server in history. Four AM is my favorite time to be on the Nether Highway. There's nobody online, there's no queue. I can do things without raising too much suspicion. But one of my buddies almost blew it. He went to the base last night while everyone was sleeping and he took a world download. He, It was reckless. I don't think he should have done it. He should have waited and we could have just gone in blind. But we have a world download now. So, you know, I'm not that upset and he wasn't spotted. That's all that matters. There's a lot that needs to be done before this raid can take place. We gotta make sure we build a horse tunnel right to the base to make sure that all of our guys can get in pretty quickly with no problems. We need to make sure we have enough TNT taken off of our alts. There's a few things that need to be done. We're not ready to attack just yet. I've had some time to look at the world download and analyze the entire base, and I think I've got a pretty good game plan for us. Now we're gonna start with the spiral here. I was really worried at first because I thought the dark blocks here were actually obsidian, but it turns out they're coal blocks, which means that if we use a flint and steel, we can just burn this entire spire here. So that's going to help out. We're going to save a ton of TNT doing that. The tricky part is the diamond. It is a huge spiral, all made out of diamond, very resistant to TNT. However, luckily the entire inside of all of these spirals are hollow. So we're going to get about three or four of us at once getting into these spirals to, to blow them up, essentially. Let me just break through here real quick. We're going to go up through here, about four of us all placing TNT as we go up and up and up. Now, it's a pretty long way up, so we will have to be placing probably multiple stacks each just to make sure there is nothing left when this thing blows. The only downside is that it's going to be dark on the inside. So take a look at this. If I turn off Fulbright, all of this is dark, which means if a creeper spawns and accidentally blows up, it could prematurely detonate the entire TNT spiral. So we need to be very careful about that. We need to do the same for the Lapis and for the Sea Lanterns as well. If we can grief the spiral, this is like the central focus of the base. If we can take this out, the rest of the base is going to fall pretty easily. The second thing we're going to focus on is right over here, the bed area. Now this is, I think, who did it belong to? Yeah, Judge Holden. All of the player beds seem to be here, so if we can blow up their beds, we're going to make sure that if any of them get killed by us, they won't be able to respawn anywhere near Viper. So that's going to be very crucial. Once that's taken out, we need to focus on Octopia Swastika over here. It would seem like TNT would get the job done here, but we might actually consider using beacons and just mining the whole thing by hand. 
It might take a little uh, bit of time, but that'll ensure that there is absolutely nothing left of this thing. Of course, that would all be assuming that no one's online when we're doing this raid. If someone's online and we get spotted, that kind of changes everything. The game plan is hit the spiral, hit the beds, and then hit the swastika, and everything else from there is just going to fall like clockwork. Those are the biggest structures we need to worry about. If we can take those out, we'll be in good shape. Ah. Uh, well, let's just hope this all goes to plan. And even if it doesn't go to plan, let's just hope we get the job done. The horse tunnel is finally done, and now we've got our staging area ready to go. It's about 2,000 blocks away from Viper, so it's actually really close. Hopefully it doesn't get noticed by any of the base members. But man, I got tingles. This is, this is awesome. This is the kind of stuff I missed on 2B2T. This is what I live for. That entire summer against Russia, this is how it felt every day, and that feeling's actually coming back to me right now. I'm excited! Through all the friends and all the enemies I've made on this server over the past half decade, they can call me what they want. Some call me a good guy, some call me a bad guy. But at the end of the day, I'm about to have fun. Fun on 2B2T for the first time in quite some time. Let's go.
Enemy spotted. guys are about to lay the withers, but I'm not going to stick around. I need to get back on a horse, back through the horse highway, and onto the main highway. By the time this video comes out, Super Bowl Sunday morning, I want to make sure that I'm far away from this place. There's still a lot of stuff left here in some shulkers, so it, Raiders might have a good time here. But, I guess we'll have to see, huh? Oh man, that was intense. It's almost 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm heading right back to the highway and I'm getting as far away from this base as I can. That was crazy. Ah, finally. 
destroyed. Feels good. But where will I go next on 2B2T? What adventure? It's for Fit MC himself. Um, you know, just go ahead and hit us up, whatever. I know you'd like to get involved. I know. I know you're not allowed to say much because of, you know, all the propaganda that goes around. But we know that you like the Vortex Coalition. Uh, you know that the Vortex Coalition likes you and you should feel free whenever you want. Whenever you're ready, uh, you can go and fill out that application form and you can, you know, be one of us. Join in on the greatest project 2B2T has ever seen.